What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the topic of key management for your dog walking and pet sitting clients. This can be a controversial topic, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to share with you the different options and the pros and cons of each. If you're new to my channel, I'm Shelly Byer, the creator of Pet Brainy. Every week I put out new videos with my best strategies and tips to help you grow your pet business. Key management is one of those topics that every pet sitting business owner has to deal with. Now there are a couple schools of thought, but what I want you to remember is that whatever you decide, there is no right or wrong answer here. You just need to decide what's best for your business. But always keep in mind that whatever you decide to do, that the client is giving you access to their home and they want to make sure that their keys are secure. So always keep that in mind when creating a system and managing your client's keys. The first option is that you are in control of the client keys. Now with this option, you're just gonna ask your client for two sets of keys, and then when you receive those keys, you're going to tag them with a unique identifier number. Now I have found that the simplest way to do this is just use a numbering system. Because the whole goal here is that you, when you tag these keys, you don't wanna have any information on those keys that if somebody found that key, they would know how to access the client's homes. You wanna keep their home secure. So with a numbering system, if somebody found that key, they would have no idea where that key even belongs. So when you do this, say you have two keys, the first key would be the number. So like say we're gonna use number one. So the first key, which is the master key, would be number one. And that key never leaves your office. Now the second key would be number one with the letter A. Now, if you work as a team, you may need multiple keys. So it's important to have in your key handling agreement that your client gives you permission to make multiple copies if needed. Now, the multiple copies, you would just add B on the end of it or C or D or and it keeps going up from there. So that's how you would tag these keys. It's a very, very simple system. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this option. The pros are you always have a backup key. That is super important. You always want to have a way to get into the client's home if you can't find the key or it gets lost or a pet sitter has it and you need to get in. So that's super important. Another pro is that you don't have the expense of the lock boxes. Now you can defer that expense onto the client and take that off of you completely, but that is one pro. Another pro is that some clients just don't want a lock box on their home. So this eliminates that whole thing. So now let's talk about the cons. The first con is there's more liability. Anytime you're in control of client keys, you have the big responsibility of making sure all of their keys and homes are secure. So that is a liability on your company. The second thing is it's just a lot of management. Key management can be time consuming, making sure that the keys get signed, assigned out properly and tracking all that. And there's a lot more running around because you need to make sure that those keys are getting assigned out to your employees. So that means either the employee comes to you or you go to the employee, but there's a lot more running around. Now remember, another con is there are some expenses involved because you need to make sure that you have the tags to tag all of those keys. You also need to have some kind of a lockbox or something at your office to secure all of those keys. And if you need multiple keys, that expense is going to fall on you or the client. So those are the expenses involved. So those are the pros and cons of option one. The second option is that the client is in complete control of their own keys. Now with this option, they are responsible for making sure that a lockbox is on the outside of their home with the key in it so that when you arrive, you can access their home. Now there are some pros and cons to this. The biggest pro is it's super convenient. No more running around, having to assign keys out and all of that. So it's super convenient. But the biggest pro is that you don't have the liability of housing all of the keys. So those are the pros. Now the cons is sometimes you show up to the house and you open the lockbox and there's no key in it. Now you're having to try to figure out, did your last staff member walk off with the key? Is it with the staff member or did the client forget to put the key in there or did the housekeeper take the key? What happened to the key? And if you don't have a backup key at the office, that could create some problems because now you can't get into the client's home and take care of the animal. 
So those are definitely cons. Another con is there is an expense to buying the lock boxes. Now this can be a business expense where you buy all of the lock boxes in bulk and then assign them out to the clients, or you can pass that expense on to the clients. Either way you wanna do it, but there is an expense there. Another con is that depending on where you live, lock boxes can freeze and that could cause a potential problem of getting the key out to access the home. So that's another con. So those are the pros and cons of having lock boxes. So now you've seen your two options and the pros and cons of each. Now you need to decide which one is going to work best for your business. Now keep in mind, you could do a hybrid of the two. You don't have to choose one or the other. Some clients could have lock boxes and some you could have keys at the office on. Either way you decide is completely fine. I find that using lock boxes is a great way to do it, but I always keep a backup key at the office so that if that key isn't there, we can still access the home. So there's a lot to think about when designing a system for your keys, but whatever you decide, Always remember to keep the security of the keys in the forefront of your mind. That is your number one goal. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every week you're notified when I put new videos out. If you think your friends would enjoy these videos, share it with your friends. I'd love to see them. As always, I appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.